uh, there is an unknown Air Europa flight, which is a seasonal flight, arriving at, here at Robin Hood Airport. It is unknown whereabouts it came from, but that will probably be found out later. This flight that's about to take off is, un is an unknown flight. From what we're guessing, it is probably a private flight. Here comes what I think is... I'm not sure what it is, I'm not going to make any judgments. But here comes another plane. Sadly, flight radar wasn't actually working, so I couldn't really tell what it was. Apart from, it is a private charter. Or a private owner flight. This is probably part of the Doncaster Flying School, which is based here at Robin Hood Airport. This Thompson decided to be a cheeky bitch and bloomin' sneak up. Again, because of the lack of mobile data, I am unable to find out, unlike Saturday's trip, where these flights are coming from. So most of these planes, for the first half of the video, will probably be unknown. We have finally found out where those planes came from. The Thompson came from Royce. The Flyby came in from... We actually don't know where the Flybee came in from, and we believe that the Air Europa either came in from Palma or Tenerife South. Speaking of which, we're now going to cut back to the runway, where a flight school flight is just about to take off. It is unknown whether you can see that, but that is the light of probably BE4422, a Flybee service coming in from Berlin, that's running about half an hour early. That flight school flight is clearly waiting for BE4422 to make its land. It is a Flybee Embraer on the Berlin today. There is a bug. That's why I was blowing. Anyway, here is B4422 from Berlin. With this flight on pulling into the terminal. Now all four departure gates have been filled, so nothing will be able to arrive in once something has departed, unless it's of course from the flight school. Aww. Once again trying to sneak up on me is once again another plane from the Doncaster flight school, but it once again the destination of the flight school is unknown of where it's going. It's probably going to do circuits, as it is the flying school. 
when the engine's revving up, here comes the flight school yet again. The last, pro the last plane that was captured was actually a private one. This is the one for the flight school. This King Air is for the flight school, I should say. That Cessna was actually not the flight school, that was just a private char. Or a private plane flight thing. I don't really know. It was definitely something. Just about to come down is BE4413. You're about half an hour delayed, 11.30. Fly B flight to Amsterdam. Something is about to enter, according to someone's radio, something is about to come over. This something here is probably TOM3561 at Thompson Service coming in from Palma de Mallorca. Running about a few minutes early, I think, at a guest ring. Running about seven minutes early, or late even. As is the Air Europa, but that will be in a different video. Oh, no, you can't. No, I can. Right, lean forward, then, and you'll see it touch oh, down. Is. Can you see it? Yeah, I see it. Oh, I can see it now. Now, is it, is it windy? Is, is it going like this, look? No. The Thompson has indeed touched down on the two-and-a-half-mile runway. As the Air Europa over there decides to make its move to the taxi, well, to the edge of the runway, here comes the Thompson flight. And it is the new livery, again. Now he has to clear off the taxiway before the Air Europa flight can leave. This Air Europa flight is actually late, causing those two Flybe, well, causing the Flybe and Thompson flight to also be late. Probably just about to take off, I can't really, I'm gonna have to wipe the camera lens real quick. But anyway, just about to take off now is AEA 232, a Air Europa seasonal flight. Going to Tenerife South, delayed by approximately 11 minutes. Air Europa is a seasonal airline that serves here, meaning that it doesn't serve all year round. Meaning that there probably would be less delays without having this on the blooming schedule. Although it's nice to see Air Europa, I still believe that their livery is a bit too generic. Our second to last catch of the day will be TOM3568, a Thompson, fl well, delayed 1240 Thompson flight, from here to somewhere in Greece called Zakynthos. According to my family, he is moving, and I will agree with them on that, because it is flying, both literally on the ground and about to take off. Not sure if this is the flight school or a private one. 
but by the looks of things, it's a private owner coming in, well, landing in from wherever it came off. According to flight radar, this one came off of Nottingham, North East Midlands, but Nottingham, which is a private owner airfield. Yeah, this was on flight radar. I would say this is the second to last catch. This is the second to last catch of the day. But this is tiny compared to the other planes that we've seen today. Firing up now is our final catch of the day, BE4433, a flyby service coming in. Well, departing for Jersey. This is the delayed 12:35 service, and is actually making up pretty good time compared to its 11.30 departure on Saturday, which left two hours and four minutes late. As you, can pro as you probably t could see there, the runway checker got a bit too close to the action and had to back away from the, from the flyby. Anyway, as she moves on, I will end it there. Thank you very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. Part 2 of the Robin Hood showcase I guess. Anyway, I now have a one-way ticket back home.